Now, though, um, a few weeks ago, Dr. Chris uh, was talking to us about some contact lenses that claimed they could uh, end bad sight. In actual fact, it was an idea that was uh, brought into the studio in a, in a newspaper article by Rod on camera one there. He's actually said, doing this shot. You should, there you are. He said, uh, you should actually have a look at this, Philip. You might be interested. Of course, I am short-sighted myself, and so I was especially intrigued by this news, and I thought I'd give him a go. Mm. I am quite short-sighted. I've been wearing glasses since I was about 15. Ever since I can remember, I've had the daily routine of putting in contacts or wearing my specs. That's all about to change. I'm about to be fitted with lenses for nighttime only that'll give me my sight back during the day. Charles Babumba, the optician, starts by scanning my eye and taking a computer image of it. That information goes back to the lab and it's used to make my lenses. How do you get on there? That's fine, yeah. I was just waiting for somebody to shoot out, but that's OK. <laughs> Obviously, I'm pretty excited by the prospect of seeing without glasses or lenses for the first time in my adult life. I want to see like a falcon. We'll try our best to make sure that you do. Good. A week later, and I'm at the optician's lab, and I've got to admit I'm a little nervous about what it's going to entail. Also, flip your eyes inside out. Do you? Yes, you flip my eyes inside, inside out. out. Right. Yes, and that's absolutely necessary, it is, isn't it? Yes, extremely okay. necessary, okay. yes. My lenses are ready, but to add to my jitters, Charles has all manner of gadgets he wants to test on me. This is Mars. <laughs> this is a picture of uh, of Mars, or it could be the sun. Actually, this is the this is a sunspot here and uh, and a flare. Or that could be the back of my eye. Is this normal? That's normal. Very is healthy. It? Extremely healthy. That's the science bit out of the way. Now comes the hard part. I've got to get these little tiny discs into my eyes. Sorry, a little bit of grit in my eye. Feels a bit gritty, yes. When, when you say it doesn't take long before it settles down, how long is that going to be? Within the next five, ten minutes, you'll find that it feels much better. Well, I, there is, there, this is definitely quite, it is initially quite uncomfortable, isn't it? The right one certainly feels better than the left one. Yes, it is beginning to settle down, actually. Well, we've been talking now for, how long have I had these in? You put them in probably about ten or fifteen minutes ago, and this is much better now. They're feeling a lot more comfortable. Looking at your eyes, they're quite clear. Yeah. No redness. Oh, really? Not gone no, red? I'm surprised, no, actually. I yeah. thought they might have gone a bit red. No sign of any rejection. Well, that wasn't so bad, but now I've got them in. Can I get them out? That's easier said than done. See, that's it, and that's in forever. <laughs> it's welded to my eyeballs. Oh, I'm rubbish at this, aren't I? God, they see, that's what happens. OK. Try again. I'm going to poke my eye out in a minute. And I can't go anywhere near doing it that way. There's no compromise here. I can't persuade you that that would be... No, okay. You'll scratch your eye. If you I will scratch my eye. OK, all right, fine. Oh. Should we try a different uh, technique? Have you got another technique? Mm. If you slap me on the back of the head, they'll fly out. I'll just catch them like this. Right, look down. Looking down. Uh, yeah, OK. OK. Of all the places to trip up, is getting the damn things out. Very good. <laughs> right, OK. Anyone who wears hard contact lenses is, is going to be looking at me saying, you wuss. That's really so much. Did well, then. Oh, don't. Don't, don't <laughs> I've been struggling in the clinic for 20 minutes. Now I think I've got the hang of it. I've got to go home and do it myself. Then hopefully the lenses will do their work. This is the first time I've ever put lenses in instructions. OK, so... What's actually happening is that the shape of my iris is being changed by these lenses, and in the morning, I should be able to see. <laughs> oh, it's like grit. Good night. Just one thing before I do actually go to sleep. If the house should catch fire tonight, <laughs> you make sure that someone leads me to safety, because <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to find my way out. <laughs> I've been wearing my new lenses now for 12 hours, and it's time for the checkup with Charles. What's your immediate reaction, Philip, looking around before I even check your vision? My vision is clearer. Welcome back. Do you know we're in the middle of a live experiment and you don't even know it? <laughs> Would you like to elucidate? I'm in my own private euphoria at the yes. moment. For the first time today, I'm doing the programme without glasses or lenses or anything. For the first time Ever. since your television career? Ever. 
It's my second night, and I've decided to downsize. That's what I'm using there. And this is what I'm throwing out. There we are. My spare emergency contact lenses, solutions, my uh, sunglasses, my glasses, uh, glasses cases, daily lenses, monthly lenses, all out. This is perfect. It's day two and things have got better and better. Oh, honey, look at that. That's the right one, straight out. Ha! Oh, that's great news. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's made me feel a lot happier. It's all gone well at home, but work is another matter. Oh, that was a great trip in. Uh, done the script, and there was none of this. I could see up close, I could see far away. There's a little bit of ghosting in my right eye, so on very bright things. There's a lamp over there, which I can just see an outline of uh, sort of double vision, but just a little bit better than yesterday. Um, I, that was extraordinary. So look, I'm completely and absolutely glasses and lenses free. Success, Falcon. Ah, Falcon. Is it yeah, still good? it's fantastic. We're joined now uh, by Dr. Chris and the optician who treated me, Charles Wilbur. So welcome both of you. And you. Um, and so so f f first of all, um, the the. Treatment itself is not suitable for everyone. We should That's say right. that straight away. Yes. So who can have it done, who can't have it done? Usually people who are short-sighted, uh, up to about minus six uh, degrees of, of uh, short-sightedness, mm -hmm. and of, uh, up to about minus two of astigmatism, uh, they are the most successful wearers of, of these lenses. It doesn't work if you need like you do, reading long, glasses. It's long sight is no good. Not at the moment, but uh, our researchers are working on a lens that will be able to assist <gasps> oh, you as well. Really? Fantastic. How much does it, and I, uh, everyone who I've been telling about this throughout the course of the week, and I've been so excited, mm. um, because the, uh, my outside world has never been clearer, um, how much is it going to cost? The initial cost will be about £195 to cover the uh, consultation, the fitting, the follow-up, supply of lenses and any change that may need to be done. Mm. After that, if everything works out, it's £40 a month. And, and how often do I have to come back? After, now, after today's visit, uh, hopefully we'll see you after about two weeks, then it's every three months. And or the whenever monthly, you need to come in. So. The monthly £40 of lenses, the, you have to change them once a month? The lenses are changed at least once every six months. Six months, yeah. But they may be occasional, but we need to change them sooner for okay. whatever reason. And that's all including the cost of your pain. So the lenses you were putting in were hard lenses, not yeah. the soft ones you're used to. They yeah. have to be hard. You've got to be semi rigid to, yes. to, to change the shape of the eyeball. Yes. And um, that's a bit uncomfortable. Well, it was uncomfortable the first couple of nights. And as I said, anyone who wears hard contact lenses, um, or sem semi-hard contact lenses, um, w they will be used to that. Yeah. But I've never been used to it. I've never used them at all. So when I put them in, mm. they are a bit, it is a bit scratchy. Yeah. But I've got used to it very quickly. And the thing is, of course, that you put them in your eye when you go to bed. Mm. So I put them in my eye, it's scratchy for a couple of seconds mm. before I shut my eyes and go to sleep. Are they prescription as well? Yes, they, you, you took my prescription for that. That's right. So you can see well with them at night. Right, so you can read in bed That's or right. whatever. Yes. And then do you have to have a certain amount of sleep with them in? That's right, fine. You've got to have at least a minimum of six hours sleep in, in the initial stages. Yeah. After that, it doesn't matter so much. Uh, you can leave them out for a night or two. Mm. I've got patients in our clinic, City Eyes, whereby they leave them out for up to three nights and they still have good vision. So you might work your way down to well, just Well, I put them in last night after nights. our Guildhall thing, went yes. back and put, and put them back in again, yes. took them out this morning. What I have had, and I've been judging it actually in the darker parts of our studio, I've had this ghosting, which initially is quite disconcerting and a bit unpleasant actually. Yes. Um, and in the dark areas, I, everything has a, 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 almost like a shadow of itself around it. I can mm. see clearly, I could read it a long distance, but it would have this ghosting. Now today I noticed for the first time, and this is after three or four days, that had significantly decreased. Yes. And can I expect that to go completely? You will definitely expect that to disappear completely mm. within the next few days to a week. Mm. Fantastic. Yes. And it's literally squishing the eyes into the better shape to get the, the focus and the lenses working properly. That's right. You've got so an eyeball by you... the side of you there. Have you oh, used yeah. that to demonstrate what it's going to do? Just to demonstrate what actually happens. Um, it's this front surface of the eye, the cornea. 
And this lens, which is a, a rigid gas pimple lens, extremely permeable. And very yes. tiny. Uh, very tiny indeed. The cameras are desperate trying to find that. Good luck, guys. It's <laughs> yes, really tiny. Let's see that. <laughs> it's very Hold that tiny. very still for us. So that, let, me, let me. This is okay. this is like the one that I, I have uh, in uh, in there's, my there's eye. One there, there. Oh, there's oh, one well in done, the uh, in the thing. Yeah. yeah. They're different colours. So what, purple is for one eye and blue is the other. So you don't get uh, you don't get it uh, don't get up. them confused. There you go. That's just that one there. Right. Okay. So if we just put a bit of water, put too much. So this is what's great, whilst, um, whilst Charles is doing that, this is a great alternative. I'm a scaredy cat, didn't go for the laser treatment. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, a, this is a good alternative. There are great many treatments for, for, for your eyes, laser being one of them. And That's there are right. some great advances and successes being made in laser. That's right, yes. So now, you've put the lens on there. Should we see it sideways so you can... Is that what's good? Yeah, OK, there it is on the top. What's that going to do? So what it's doing there is being held by the tear film onto the surface. Yeah. And when you're sleeping, the eyelids put a gentle pressure on the lens, yeah. which in turn presses the cornea very slightly and changes the shape by a minimum amount of about six microns. Mm. Now, compared to laser surgery, to get the same effect, you need to burn or vaporize about 12 microns of the cornea. Mm. So relatively, you can see the shape of my eye changed. We've got we've got one of the scans that you took before. Yes. Uh, that's my so that's my eye before. That's your eye before. And then you took another one after I'd worn it. I think this is after the first night. Ooh. And uh, and we'll just we'll load that one up for you. Uh, and there it is. Now you wow. can see that that's where the lens was sitting on my on my eyeball. Mm. Yes. Changed the yeah. shape. That's right. So, Chris, we were talking about the, la the laser treatment, which is, which is in, in a great many people, extremely successful. Yes, that's right. But, of course, if there is a mistake made, you can't correct it, or it's extremely difficult to correct. And the beauty of this, of course, is you, you, you wear them at night, you take them off in the morning, you've got perfect vision through the day, put them on the next night, and so on and so yes. forth. If I decide that I don't get on with them and I don't like them, I don't wear them at night, and my eyes will eventually go back to what, what they were before. I'll get my glasses out and put my ordinary contact lenses in. That's the beauty of orthokeratology. That's yeah. the process of orthokeratology, yeah. which gently reshapes the eye. It's not permanent semi-permanent and it's reversible. Mm, yeah. And these are called ortho-K, these lenses. The lenses are also yes, okay. Yes, not, yeah. not for everyone, as we said, yeah. and, right. and you've got to look after it, because you if, you if you don't look after your eyes whilst you're using this and look after the lenses, then you can damage your eyes, oh, so you, okay. it's, you know, it isn't something, something that's suitable for everyone. What a lot of fabulous medical news we've had today. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Charles, very Pleasure. much. Thank you. Right, for more details about this treatment, you can, of course, see our website. It's itv.com slash this morning. Reading the autocue without lenses. <laughs>